Well, hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today's video is very, very exciting because today is the day, finally, I can share with you some Call of Duty Vanguard gameplay on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I have the game early. Thank you very much, as always, for the people who do send it to me early. But today, I'm going to be sharing with you the whole creator class shebang. I'm going to be showing you all the weapons, all the kill streaks, all the maps, all the game modes, and pretty much what is to offer in terms of creating a class and multiplayer experience. Because there will be other videos coming out today, me showcasing assault rifle gameplay, sniper rifle gameplay, LMG gameplay, shotgun gameplay, and is that it? I think that pretty much basically, if I haven't covered it all there, pretty much every single class I will be doing a video on, like I have been doing for the last five or six years. So as the server's not online right now, I only have the local game options. So um, if we go to weapons, I'm, I'm pretty much going to show you everything here. And obviously, we have had the alpha, we have had the beta, but now it's kind of time to uh, see what is available on launch, which is very exciting and see, you know, if there are any differences. So let's head over to loadouts. So as you can see here, there's 10 classes. It's a huge amount of classes. It's clicking the custom class one and begin with the assault rifles. So we've got the STG-44. We then have this gun, which is new, I believe, the Automation. Hi, I mean, this gun, look, I mean, to be honest, I'm excited for this to give this one a go. This is a new gun. Then we've got this gun, which we've had in the beta, Itraverse, which is a decent gun. The bar, the BAR, what some people like to call it the bar, some people like to call it the BAR, a very, very good gun indeed. We then have the AS44, which is a very good gun. I'm excited to give this one a go. The NZ41. We then have the... Whoa! We have the Volkerstermelweyer there. It's definitely a German gun. And oh, look at the speed, man. Look how fast it's going to go. Okay, that's pretty crazy. And I think as well, if I press R3... Aha! Look at that. I can preview. And if I press R3... Oh, we can see the animation. Okay. Actually, let me do that. Woo! This is the automation or the automation. Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice. I love, I honestly, I love old school CODs. I'm a big fan of futuristic CODs as well. But, you know, Black Ops Cold War, I really enjoyed. Oh, look at this. Right. The BAR we've seen from the beta, but just showing you guys again. Oh, I love the BAR. Uh, the AS44, which is this gun here. Very soiree. Um, what else? The NZ41. Woo! I can't wait to show you guys some gameplay. Uh, here we go. This gun here, I'm excited to try. Look at this. It's like almost like a Thompson almost. And that is it for the assault rifles. We've got seven weapons for the assault rifles. Moving on to the SMGs. We have the one and only MP40. I absolutely love the MP40. MP40 in this game is very good. We then got the Sten, which we've seen before. Very cool indeed. We then have the M1, essentially the Thompson. I, I kind of enjoyed it in the beta and the alpha, but you need a lot of attachments to kind of get it going. You know, the, the recall was insane. Now moving on. Oh, this gun. Owen gun. What's so fancy about this? interesting we then have the type 100 which okay so the type 100 looks very similar to the owen gun in a way like the ammunition or the magazine for the owen gun is up the top but obviously the um type 100 is to the side now the last gun is the push oh i can't wait man i love the the push in world at war was amazing i cannot wait for that so that's the, so that's the smg so we've got six smgs we have seven assault rifles. Moving on to the shotguns. Unfortunately, we only have four shotguns. So, the first one we have is the Einhorn Revolv Re Revolving? Revolving? Einhorn Revolving. That's my moment. It looks pretty cool. You know, it's pretty interesting. The combat shotgun. A bit of a pump. Okay, a cheeky little pump shotgun. Then we got the Gracie Auto. Who on earth is coming up with these names? Like, is that actually the name of the weapon And then in, in, in real life? And then we've got the double barrel shotgun, which honestly, man, if you can get the attachment for the sawn off, whoo, it's going to be awesome. Right. So we've got four shotguns. 
LMGs. Ooh. Okay, got the MG42. Everyone, basically, this gun is pretty much in every single Call of Duty. We got the DP27, which we, I think we used to have in World at War. I, it was it's a pretty like if you look at the difference, right? It's quite powerful. But I'm excited. The Type 11. Ooh, interesting. And then we have the Bren, which we we saw in in the beta. Okay. So four light machine guns. Moving on to the marksman rifles. So with the M1 Grand, which is very common in uh, the olden Call of Duties. SV40 once again was in World at War. Oh my goodness! Uh, SV40 back in the day in World at War with a suppressor was perfect for S and D. It was like do 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 do. It was very very good. We then got the G43. Oh. Oh yes, that's the Gua. If you do, you guys remember the Gua from um, World at War? That was definitely a gun which I'm excited to try out. Sniper rifles, we have three. So we've got the Type 99, which I think a lot of people will use. It's kind of a a lighter bolt action rifle. The free line is a heavier. So the difference between the two, this one has got you know decent power. This one has much like a huge amount more power as is the s line which i think a lot of people will use but i think it's the car like if you look at all of them the car has the most damage if i if i click on the car this gun here is less this i mean this gun here has more speed like the like so far on paper the car is the better option and oh i love the car we had it in modern warfare we had it in world at war oh. now melee we have a combat shield Okay, that, that's pretty cool. So, what else do we have in terms of... Actually, should we have a quick look at what's available on the gunsmith? I imagine it's still the same. Uh, modify your weapons up to 10 attachments. Yes, we've seen it all before. We've got all these attachments, if you're curious, for assault rifles. I won't go through all of them because, you know, I don't think you guys are really here for all this. But there's a lot of things you can customize with. So, overall, you've got muzzle, barrel, optic, stock, proficiency, kit rear grip magazine ammo type and under barrel and then moving on to the secondaries what have we got so we've got a gun called the rat oh a bit of james bond style i see top break but like a magnum interesting very interesting oh 1911 oh that's like that was like modern war i remember that, like, that was world at war once again world at war this gun again Another gun from basically World at War. Machine pistol, which I think some people will use as a secondary. And that's it for, for handguns. Launchers, oh my goodness. We've got the M1 Bazooka. Jesus, look at that. We then have the, the Panashrek, the big boy. Look at that. We then have the Panzerfaust. Oh my goodness. We then have the MK11 launch. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, we are. And then melee, we then have a knife. Cool. Okay, moving on to perks. I'm really curious to see if they've added any more perks. Like from the alpha and the beta, I wasn't really a huge fan, but we'll see. So what have we got here? So perk one, we've got fortified. So it reduces damage from explosive by 15%. Damage reduction doubled while mounted, crouch or prone. Reduces health, regen delay from explosive. So that, that's pretty good. Basically, it's on like flat jacket. Survival training, maximize resistance to stun effects. So you have two options here. Do you go by explosives or do you go by like, you know, the, the secondary option, which is obviously your, your flashbangs, your, your tactical grenades. Ninja, move silently. So take reduced damage while falling. Reduce the effectiveness of enemy tracker perks. Dauntless, this is new. Immune to movement, reducing effects. Okay. Ghost, which I think everyone's going to equip. Undetectable while moving. So you have to move. If you stay still, you will be detected. Um, so undetected by, while moving by spy planes, enemy intel, and field mics. Reduce the effectiveness of local informants. Cold-blooded. AI control kill tricks will not target you. And player control kill tricks will not highlight you. I like a kind of a, of a rhyme, a little a poem here. You do not trigger the high alert. Um, reduces the range at which awareness markers appear. So perk one is pretty solid you know back in the day when you had a headset like move astro a40 like ninja would always be key 
But I'm kind of thinking if I'm playing the objective, you know, fortified is probably where it's at. Now, moving on to perk two, we've got tracker. I absolutely love tracker. You know, if you turn it on and the, as long as the person hasn't got ghost or cold blood or whatnot, you can physically see where they've gone. So, you know, those times you've gone down the stairs, where on earth is the guy? You see him. So it's pretty good. Um, radar. Enemies appear on your minimap when they fire an unsilenced weapon. Now, this is sneaky, man. I like having a silenced weapon. I've always been like, you know, do I have a silenced weapon? But I know that the damage will be kind of decreased, the range, the drop-off rate. But then Matey Boy could be camping in a corner with Ghost and Radar on. Oh, I don't know. High alert. Your vision pulses when enemies outside of you see you. That's pretty good. Engineer. Detect enemy equipment. I mean, this used to be like Sitrep Pro. Do you remember Sitrep Pro from Modern Warfare? Like, it's pretty good. Forward intel. See indicators of enemy reinforcements on your minimap. You know, that's pretty good as well. Piercing vision. Uh, sufficiently suppressed targets will be highlighted for a short time, rendering them visible through walls and obscuring effects. Interesting. Now, perk number... Okay, so if I were to recommend perk number two, I'd probably think... Hmm, to be honest, Tracker is very, very good. I would also probably... Maybe think forward intel. Moving on to perk three. Oh, we've got a few things here. Double time, as always. Marathon from Modern Warfare 2. Got the basically the extra sprint. Demolition, extra lethal on spawn. And it shows you an indicator. Now, for me, demolition was very, very good from the uh, from the beta. Lightweight. Oh, my goodness. They've basically put marathon and lightweight in the same perk category. If you went from Modern Warfare 2, marathon was in perk 1. Lightweight, I think, was in perk 2. We've got Overkill, Carry Two Weapons, Tactician, Restart Your Tactical Equipment Every 30 Seconds, which is very good for me because I obviously like having the, um, oh, what was the word? I put the, I put these things down. They're not flat jackets, um, but when someone shoots it, it explodes. What is it called? It will come back to me when we look at the equipment. Um, but that didn't be very, and Scavenger. Mate, Perk Free is, oh. I wish there were some of these perks in some of the other perk slots, to be honest. I mean, Scavenger, very good. Uh, double time, lightweight, overkill. Two hours in this, I'm probably going to run overkill, to be honest. But anyway, those are the perks. The lethals, we've got a frag grenade, we've got a gammon bomb to explode on impact, a throwing knife, a thermite, demolition charge, and a molotov. Who doesn't love a molotov? Tactical, we've got a stun grenade, a smoke grenade, we've got a stim, we got a gas grenade, we've got an S mine, and a decoy grenade. And that is pretty much it. Actually, no. We gotta move on, don't we? To the kill streaks. So, are there any new kill streaks? So we've got Intel. So reveals enemies uh, nearby. Only for a short period of time, and it's only granted to the person. So if I call this in, it doesn't really help out the team. We then have a care package. Drop a single care package, which rewards a random kill. Yep, care package. I, I don't know why I'm reading. I know what I can probably explain it better than you know, myself. Uh, a spy plane, basically like the recon, but for everyone. Counter spy plane, I saw was very effective in the alpha and the beta. Basically, it just gives you, it blocks out your radar. So if you are a team who doesn't really run silencers, a counter spy plane is very, very effective. We've got a glide bomb, very good kill streak. Mortar. A war machine. Guard dog. Calls in a guard dog for protection. The dog can be commanded to either guard a position. Oh, that'd be very good for playing the objective. Strafing run calls in air support. Bombing run. Okay, what's the difference between the two here? One's air support. Oh, for a target area. There's, okay, okay, this one's a little bit more feisty. We've got a death machine. We've got emergency airdrop. Only free care packages. Come on, Treyarch. Is it Treyarch? No, it's not. Is it Treyarch this year? No, it's Sledgehammer Games, isn't it? The Sledgehammer Games this year? It is. Yeah, it's Sledgehammer Games and Treyarch, but mainly Sledgehammer Games. I mean, come on, guys. Man, it's all about the four emergency, you know, the four care packages back in the day in Modern Warfare 2. We then have a flame knot, not a juggernaut, a flame knot. Very exciting. Attack dogs, firebombing run. Wow. And then we've got local informant. What's this? While active, release the locate. Oh, basically, that's like Blackbird back in the day. Oh, wow. Field upgrades. 
This is where I'll find out in a moment. Supply box. Goliath. Dead silence. Jammer. Deployable cover. Armor plates. Field mic. Tactical insertion. And dead drop. Where's my... um? What do you call it? Where is my... The thing I like using? I forgot what it is. And you're probably going, Matt, it's this. Okay, that's a watch. What is the watch? Okay. We can put on a watch. Is it on is it on loadouts? I think it is, isn't it? No way. <laughs> Guys, I I think they've got rid of um I've oh what's the word, Matt? I've planted I you put something down and then when stuff comes to hit it, it shoots it. Tactical not a tactical one uh uh, I've forgotten, but it's not here. Like, I'm sure it was in field upgrades. Supply box. Goliath. Jammer. What? They've removed it. I don't see it here. Matt, tell us what, you, what you're looking for. I am looking for... Um, oh, what is the word? Um, you bait, oh, oh, okay, give me one moment and let me find out quickly. Guys, I've just found it. It was the trophy system, that's the word. I'm looking now, I don't think Vanguard has a trophy system. Does it have a, a trophy system? Maybe it didn't have it in the beta. Yeah, it says here Vanguard currently does not include the trophy system. Yeah, but apparently people are beg- Wow, on Charlie Intel, Vanguard players beg devs to bring back the trophy system for one important reason. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like, was it in the beta? I don't think it was, was it? I've got to- I've got- I'm going to have to rewatch some gameplay and see what it says. But, I can't believe it. Honestly, this is- they should add it. Like, why can't- Wow. Maybe it wasn't in the beta, but that's what I'm looking for, the trophy system. Um, but what else can I show you? We have the watch, operators if you're interested. So we got Daniel, we got Wade, we got Halima, Palina, Solange, uh, Shignori, Roland, Lucas, we got Patrice, we got Arthur, we got, I might say consistent, Constanze. And Padamavate. Um, and there we go, pretty much. So as of editing this video, I completely forgot to share with you all the maps within Call of Duty Vanguard. So we've got Berlin. We've got Bocage. We have Castle. We have Das House. We have Decoy. We have Demianks. I believe that's how you pronounce it. We have Desert Sage or Slay. Desert Slay, Siege, Desert Siege, I think that is, Dome, Eagle's Nest, we got Gather 2, Hotel Royale, which we've played before, Numa Numa, Oasis, Red Star, Sub Pens, and Tushin. There we go, guys. I just wanted to add this into the video because I completely forgot. To add, to add, I completely forgot to add. I completely, it's not, this is not maths, Matt. I completely forgot to share with you all the maps within Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, but there we go. Apologies for adding this bit in near the end. Slightly different format, but but yeah, there's all 16 maps. That's the most we've had on launch in a very long time, or maybe even ever. Even 16 maps on launch is just crazy cool well there we go guys if you have enjoyed today's video then be sure massive thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment on what's regarding this but anyway guys have a wonderful day please let me know what are your are you excited what classes are you going to use i probably will be live streaming on friday when a game does officially come out in the uk actually i might actually live stream tomorrow night potentially because the game comes out in new zealand tomorrow night and i think that's when we can start live streaming so I might live stream tomorrow night, which will be very, very exciting. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And as always, see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.